So sometimes uh, I let my students use their calculators just to check an answer, but many times they don't know how to use their uh, calculator correctly. Let's just take this problem for instance, one-third plus one-fourth. When you do the math on that, you get seven-twelfths. So on the calculator, you do one divided by three plus one divided by four, and that gives you the decimal approximate uh, approximation number. So their issue is, how do they know that that number right there is seven twelfths? Well, on most scientific calculators, there's going to be a fraction to decimal conversion or decimal to fraction conversion. On this one, it's right here. It's F to D. So you would do second, and there it is, 7 divided by 12. So we can do the same problem with a different calculator. Um, the conversion key is right there, F to D. So we'll do 1 divided by 3 plus 1 divided by 4. There's the approximation, and then we'll convert that to a fraction form. Second, and there it is, 7 twelfths. Casio scientific calculator. Um, so we'll do 1 divided by 3 plus 1 divided by 4. And there is the decimal approximate. Um, so on this calculator, the button is right there. It says S to D or D to S. So I think that means standard to decimal or decimal to standard notation. All you have to do is just press that one. And it gives you the fraction format, 7 over 12. Sometimes my students bring this type of calculator in. It's just a, a Texas Instruments graphing calculator. Um, it'll do the same thing. Um, We'll go ahead and do the math here. One third plus one fourth. There's the decimal approximation. And then to convert that to a fraction format, on this calculator, you just go to math. And then it's the very first option it says frac. Enter on that and then enter again. And there it is. There's the exact format, 7 twelfths.